very well. Uh, I'm looking to uh, submit this uh, concealed carry application. I just had one question uh, about one of the lines, and I don't know if uh, you're the right person to address the question to, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, it says a uh, permit number. Okay, and uh, driver's license number. I don't drive. So you don't have a driver's license. I have a driver's license from PA when I did have a car. But right now I don't have a car, I don't drive, so I don't know if it's... If, if you don't want to submit it, I mean, that's not mandatory information. Wonderful. All right, that was my only question. And uh, so if you could just do me the favor of looking it over, making yeah, make sure... I appreciate that. Thank you. It's good morning. It looks fine, Dad. Yes. All right, it takes about 14 days. Okay. We do not call you. So we give these no. cards out. We ask you to call in, follow up on it, give it 14 days because investigation says it's not okay. 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 Um, if it's approved, when you come in to get it, there'll be a $10 fee. Okay. We take cash or checks is valid for four years, and then we'll need photo ID. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. That was totally painless. Uh, and I'm glad to see that the driver's license is not a required part of the application. Despite the fact that the two lines below it both say optional, those two lines did not. Yeah, it did seem to insinuate that the driver's license was required. Uh, people have submitted their concealed carry permit applications with nothing but their name and address. Okay, just to fill you guys in, we were driving this way about to go catch some breakfast before I begin my exile tour, and we saw that the parking meter woman is coming this way, so we got a bunch of quarters and dimes and nickels and such, and we're going to help out our friendly neighbors and uh, do some activism, so I think it's going to be pretty fun. Yeah, how, how many can we find before... Uh, before it gets to that point. Okay, so uh, I guess when she starts coming over this way, I'll just show her that. So there's two we could potentially save. Yeah, the, the goal here is that if this person were to uh, be written a ticket, they would have to pay like five to 15 bucks, something somewhere between there. But with just the cost of a dime, I get to save my neighbor from having to pay five to fifteen bucks to the state. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this uh, this dime. I'm gonna just pop that in. So that person now has twelve minutes. That's pretty good. What's that? Here, another one. You get it. All right. not crossing the street. She's calling the police though. What? Yeah. She's calling the police? Right now. What did they do? What did they All pay right. to do now, I think? Well, let's get out of here. Uh, let's see if we can find I can't, other people. I can't have the police come in. I can't have that. Let's go. 